The Lord is king with majesty and robe. The Lord has come himself with might. He has guarded himself with power. The Lord our God is king. Praise be to the king of kings. Glory be to the Lord. Holy is the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. So again, I uh, would like to welcome those who are watching uh, uh, this Mass uh, in YouTube, uh, for all those uh, people. Uh, yeah, as I've said, you know, we've created a, a virtual community here. It's just so good to hear from uh, people from all over the world, you know, uh, watching this uh, daily mass. I hope you're. I hope you've been been blessed by by by, by attending the, the the mass here at Saint Mary's. So, brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Let us pray. Hear our prayers, O Lord, so that what was promised by the sanctifying power of your word may everywhere be accomplished through the working of the gospel, and that all your adopted children may attain what the testimony of truth has foretold. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Corinth, one night, the Lord said to Paul in a vision, Do not be afraid, but speak and do not be silent, for I am with you, and no one will lay a hand on you to harm you, for there are many in this city who are my people. Paul stayed there a year and six months, teaching the word of God among them. But when Gallio was proconsul of Achaia, the Jews made a united attack on Paul and brought him before the tribunal. They said, This man is persuading people to worship God in ways that are contrary to the law. Just as Paul was about to speak, Gallio said to the Jews, If it were a matter of crime or serious villainy, I would be justified in accepting the complaint of you Jews, but since it is a matter of questions about words and names and your own law, see to it yourselves. I do not wish to be a judge on these matters. And he dismissed them from the tribunal. Then all of them seized Sosthenes, the official of the synagogue, and beat him in front of the tribunal. But Gallio paid no attention to any of these things. After staying there for a considerable time, Paul said farewell to the believers and sailed for Syria, accompanied by Priscilla and Aquila. At Sancria, he had his hair cut, for he was under a vow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. God is king of all the earth. 
God is king of all the earth. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord the Most High is awesome, a great king over all the earth. God is king of all the earth. He subdued peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chose our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God is king of all the earth. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. God is King of all the earth. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Hallelujah! Christ had to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Alleluia! 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and to go to the Father, he said to the disciples, Very truly I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. When a woman is in labor, she has pain, because her hour has come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. On that day, you will ask nothing of me. Very truly I tell you, If you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So here in our Gospel today, we see Jesus was saying, his farewell speech to his uh, disciples. You know, he was about to about to ascend uh, to heaven, and the, the, and what what happened here is that you know, uh, sorry, what happened here is that you know we, we, that Jesus was was telling them that you know as as you as you follow me uh, as 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 my disciple, it says here you will experience suffering. It says he, he says here you will weep, you will wa- mourn, you know you will experience pain, and uh, and and I'm glad that Jesus did not stop there, because if he if he stopped there, uh, the, the the disciples would just be so discouraged, okay. And then he used this analogy. You know, he, um, Jesus is the greatest preacher. He's the greatest evangelist, and he knows how to connect with people. And he uses. Um, everyday experiences of people to, uh, to share it so that people will be able to relate and be able to get his point. And here in our gospel today, he used the, 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 the analogy of a woman um, laboring in pain, okay, uh, who's in labor, right? And, uh, and then he, he said that, yes, when you're laboring, yeah, there's a lot of pain, but when, when the child is born, 
you could see the joy, the joy that the, the, the mother would, would really experience. And, and, and when the mother would experience that joy, he would, she would already forget the, the, the pain. So we see here how Jesus was saying that there's joy after suffering. Okay? And, and the more you suffer, the more joy that you will experience. That's why for, for, uh, uh, for giving birth, I understand both parents are, are very happy to see a child born, but I think the mother, because the mother experienced more pain, the physical pain of, of, of uh, uh, having a child, I, I think they have more joy compared to the husband. Okay, I, I, I could be wrong. You know, the husbands could, could, uh, could, could, uh, could correct me about that. But because of the, the mother, the, the wife, you know, experienced this pain of, of physical labor, of giving birth, they experience more joy. Okay? And, and, and so, you know, as we experience this, this suffering in, in, in following the Lord, because the Lord promised, told us, you know, if, if you want to follow me, you must deny yourself, take up your cross, right? And he said that. So he, he did not promise that uh, our life will be like a bed of roses, as we follow him, there will be suffering involved. But he's also saying that don't lose sight of the joy that you will experience when you go to heaven. And the joy that you will experience in heaven is nothing compared, you know, the, the, the suffering that you, that, that, that you experience on earth. St. Teresa of Avila once said this, In light of heaven, the worst, okay, worse." the worst suffering on earth will be seen to be no more serious than one night in an inconvenient hotel. I don't know if you've experienced living in an <laughs> inconvenient hotel, one-star hotel, the inconvenience there, right? You know, maybe no hot shower, very dirty or whatever. You know, you couldn't sleep well because the bed is not, is not good. Well, that's the worst suffering that you could experience here on earth compared to the joy that you will experience in heaven. So we should not lose sight of the joy that we will experience in heaven because that will make us persevere. Okay? And as we suffer here on earth, we're not alone. The Lord is always with us. Just like in our first reading today, Paul was experiencing suffering from his preaching. People were persecuting him. Okay? And, and what, what, what did Jesus say to, 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 to Paul? Do not be afraid, but speak and do not be silent, for I am with you, and no one will lay a hand on you to harm you. Okay? So you see here how the Lord's presence is always there to comfort us in times of suffering. Okay? So something to look forward to. And it says here that, uh, it says here, I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. You know, if you have a foretaste of being loved by Jesus and the joy that it brings, how much more if you really see him, see him in heaven? The joy, I, I, for me, I can't wait to go to heaven and see Jesus. And when I see Jesus, when I'm, when I'm with him forever in heaven, there's nothing more that I could ask for. It says here, on that day, you will ask nothing of me because he is everything. To all of us. He's our peace. He's our joy. He's our love. He's everything to us. We, will no, we no longer need of anything else because He is everything to us. Well, we hope for an Await the happiness of heaven, let us pray for the strength to live well a life of faith, that we as the people of God may embrace the cross of Christ and be a living message of hope to people to whose care we are entrusted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are discouraged may experience the joy of God's sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer may be strengthened and be able to bear their pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through our caring ways, the sick may find spiritual strength and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that's the dead that the dead may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Kevin Langabeer, offered by Linda Cobb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, sustain us in our trials by the example of your Son. Help us through the grace of your Spirit to endure the sufferings of this life with joy, knowing the happiness that awaits us in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make the darkness bright who will bear my light to them whom shall I send here I am Lord is it I Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name 
name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence, and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we are married to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, misere Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Save, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so today is uh, uh, the, the start of the novena to the Holy Spirit, so I would just like to encourage everyone to, uh, to do the novena, the nine-day novena. No- novenas are very powerful, uh, so we need more of the Holy Spirit really uh, in, our, in our lives, but also in the church right now. You know, we need more of the power of the Holy Spirit, really. And uh, also, just a reminder that starting Monday, okay, it's going to be at the uh, St. Mary's Ottawa uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so for those who haven't subscribed to it, k- kindly subscribe so, so that you will be notified 
of the Mass uh, starting this uh, Monday. Okay. Also, I would like to welcome, uh, um, invite you to attend the Mass uh, here at St. Mary's on Sunday. I have some good news to tell you, and I have a surprise to, 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 to show you. Okay? Uh, okay. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And that our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. by step you lead me and I will follow you all of my days.